Servlets are installed in your web server and run without you knowing about it. Usually you won't even know when something goes wrong, but there are log files that you can use to keep track of whatever happens, good or bad. You can log whatever you need to know, such as when a servlet starts or stops, but the most useful thing to do with a log file is to track the errors so you can fix things that are going wrong. Where the log files are kept will vary from one server to the next, but they all have them. Look what you get when you start the server that comes with J2EE. It sets up the domain as domain1 and tells you where it's putting the log file. You can start and stop the server as often as you wish, and the information in the log will stay there. In fact, starting and stopping the server just adds a record or two to the files. Now here's a servlet that puts some things into the log. Now this is a do-get method that displays a very simple page, but it also shows two different ways that you can write the same thing to a log. You can get the servlet context object and call its log method, or you can just call the log method of the servlet. Either way, the text you provide will go into the same log file with information about the date and time and where the message came from. Now this is what the servlet looks like when you run it. It doesn't do much in the way of displaying a page, but it should have made a couple of new entries in the log file. And here's what that file looks like. These are the newest records that are in the log file. This log entry was made when the server was started, these last two log entries were the ones that were made by running the servlet. If all of your servlets log the right things, you can examine the log files and find out the cause of any situation. For the most parts, the servlets spring to life and run without you knowing about it. The only way you can debug them is to perform postmortems by examining the log files.